right, it's this week's Money Minutes. Ryan Payne, Courtney Dominguez, in the heart of New York City, in the subway. And what we want to talk about today is $36 billion have left U.S. mutual funds in the last quarter, and markets keep going up. It's crazy. I know. They're yeah. calling them this the most hated bull market right now because people are so scared and they keep taking their money out, so yet the markets keep going up. So today we want to go to the streets and actually talk to people. Are you bullish? Are you guys in the markets? What do you guys think about this? So let's hop to it. <laughs> so Suzanne, are you bullish on the market right now? Or are you getting nervous or skittish? Um, I'm staying the course. Um, I, I think that the uh, what's up ahead as far as the new policies, I think will still drive the market. All right, so you think the new policies are good and market's going to go higher? I don't, know if they're, I don't know if they're good, but I know that um, those who drive the market think it's good. Okay, so they're good for the stock market, not necessarily for, for, the for the people. <laughs> exactly right. Are you here? <laughs> All right, we'll go with that. <laughs> Bullish. Casino. Hi, but it's going to go down. When do you think it's going to go down and why? I don't know when. Why? It has to go down <laughs> because that's the way the market goes. It goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down. So as an investor, you would say you're more bearish than bullish. I'm, well, as I get older, I'm more conservative. Right, right. I mean, it, I mean, obviously now that you're in the 40s, you have to think about the future. 40s. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's just that I don't trust my stockbrokers. I have three not that I have any money, but I don't trust them. You should work with us then. Oh, uh, who are you? <laughs> paying capital management. We're an independent advisor. Oh, okay. I know about paying capital. But bottom line is you're bearish. The market's going to go down at some point. It has to. It always does. That's history. You always get a market. I can't believe it. I can't okay. believe it. I can't believe it. I think we're in, I don't know what the reality is, but yeah. I'm so afraid of Donald Trump yeah. that I can't believe that the markets continue to say, you know, yeah. you know, <laughs> f the reality here. <laughs> Keep on moving forward. I think, and I'm in yeah. the market. I'm in the market. Okay. And I'm, I'm profiting from what's going on here. Good, good. And I'm a retired person. Yep. I'm not a day trader. Yep. I haven't been working with it that much, yeah. but it just keeps on going. So you're in the I markets, but yes. you're bearish is what yes. you're saying. Exactly. I have a financial guy that does all of that for me. I don't do any of it myself. What is he recommending? Stay in the markets here or get out? Uh, I'm, I'm old. We don't do any stocks. Old, I'd say you're 45. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So maybe stay the course right now. Keep some money in the markets. Um, I have almost nothing in stock market. It's all it's all bonds, bonds, um, real estate, that sort of thing. Okay. So bearish on the market then, because you have money in other asset classes. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I like it. Diversify. So we got a lot of opinions out here today, as you guys can see. We have some bullish people, some bearish people, definitely oh, some yeah, mixed it. opinions, so to say. Yeah. Uh, but you guys got to you know decide for yourself if you're on our team you're going to be bullish uh, but corporate profits Boys. are going up markets continue to do well people keep getting out of the market but you got to make sure that you're invested so you can take advantage of these swings when they're happening yeah so um click on the link below if you want to talk to us about this more and as always be, be bullish, bullish.